When multiple students use the same computer to complete their Faith and Life courses, it is especially important for each user to log on with their unique name and password. It's really great that browsers now save that information for you, but it also causes sometimes people to make mistakes when they choose their, their username. So double check to make sure this is your new username. And then have a password that is unique just to that account, and I'll show you how to change your password in just a second. Once you click login, it's going to bring up your dashboard, and you can go to the upper right hand corner and make sure that this is your username. Now we're going to change the password to something unique so that you can help make sure that you get into the right account. So you click on settings. And you're going to click here on the right hand side where it says new password. Notice that your password has to have at least two letters, one number, be seven characters long but no more than 20, and have one special character. So we're going to type in something like train123 and an exclamation point. Notice that everything turned green. As I was typing in my, my password, it was checking off for me the things that I needed to have done. So now all I have to do is make sure that my password is the same as the other one. So I type in train123 exclamation point. Notice that turned green. Click the Save button. And now it says that my user detail is successfully updated, which means I've changed my password. Now I'm going to go back to my dashboard. And the next thing I'm going to do is make sure that I've logged into the correct course. And the correct course should be shown right here on your dashboard. And it should also show up on your Learn page. Once you log in, you can double check at the top, make sure you're in the right course, and then you can start your work. The last thing is that it's extremely important for each user to log out of the system and not just close the browser window. So you want to click on your name and then click log out on the upper right hand side. That way it's all clean and ready for the next user to log in.